Our new block is called School Girl Puzzle. School Girl Puzzle, and I just love this block because it reminds me of my mom who attended a one-room school, and she even took me to that school. I loved it. So we're gonna have a little quiz, just like we're in school. Okay. Okay, so this block has four squares, and this comes from die number. Okay, you're right, it's two, good. Little four pink ones. Okay, and then this one, we have the, the triangle piece squares or whatever, half blue, half white. How many do we need? We need four, and it comes from die number five. You've got it. Now, only this one is left. This is gonna go right on this piece right here. So, only you know the number of this die. Right, this is a new die we haven't used yet. It's it die is? number three. Okay, it's a big square, and all we're gonna do is just cut it in half. I love that. Okay, so just get it centered on there. All right, we've got, got the mat. Okay, okay, put the mat on. And we'll run it through Good. our Go Big cutter. Good. Good. So it's an interesting corner triangle. Looks really fun. You do need to start out with the um, triangle piece square. You need to have a white and a pink. And I already started it. This um, I added right on this side. Let me see if I can show you. It was right in this spot, right here. So I already sewed it on there. And then to just go ahead and finish it, I'm just gonna take this second piece right here and add it here. So you flip it right sides together and you can line it up right at the top. And this is great because down at the bottom, you actually uh, match it up with the seam that's underneath. So when you fold that back, then you see those are the same size. So I actually like to take this piece and sew it from this side so I get that corner lined up. It's pretty easy. You know, I was always used to be afraid of this patch, but you know, there's nothing to be afraid of now. You can just do everything, right? Right. Okay, so get it lined up right down at the bottom because you need to have that quarter of an inch along there. So let's just take a look and see if you, we've got it. I'm gonna look first. Okay. Okay. <gasps> Ooh, what do you think? Oh. I think you got it. I think it looks pretty good. Okay, looks so great. go let's ahead press and press that. away from the triangle. So this is what you're talking about. This is what we really need right down here. So this piece is going to go on the other side and we have two ends we can match. Two of those uh, dog ears right there. We're gonna match that. And we're gonna match up at the other end here. And I see I might have to do just a little bit of stretching and easing. Oh, perfect, a little stretch. So again, I like to sew it from this side because I want it to go right through these stitches. Start here, go right through there so that we're really perky on the other side. Do you like perky patches? Those are my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> we like them, Perky. We like them when we match. Did you ever take a look at antique quilts? How, oh my goodness, they just cut off their tips, you know, and everything. It was just, they didn't care, you know, they just did what they did. Okay, where, oh, where's my jumper scrap? Oh, I did this on purpose, just so you would see. I needed it. Look, now I've got this whole little ball of stuff. And no matter how hard you try and to get over it, you can't. You have to go back and just cut that off. See, this was a lesson all in itself, right? Now, I'm going to try it again. Jumper scrap. I always try, but you just can't get away without it. Okay, so now I'm going to bring the tip right up there and carefully get it started through. Keep my lines lined up here on the quarter inch. And now when I get it right here, I want those stitches to cross right through. And they did! You know, it's interesting how quilters can get excited 
about the smallest things. So now I'm gonna see if I'm perky on the other side. So we went right through where I wanted it to on the top side, open it up. Ooh. Wow, you can look at go, that perfect point. Ooh, very nice. Very nice. Okay, so now on this one, you're just gonna press the seam toward the large triangle. All right. Press the seam toward nice. the large triangle, and then we're just gonna look and see how it all goes together. I think I'll just put this one down right here and see if I can sew it real fast. That's the best thing. You know, it might only take you about 20 minutes to sew your block together. It's just, it's all the organization, getting everything together and um, just cutting it on your AccuQuilt. How's it look? It looks wonderful. Okay, you wanna see if you can lay out the block over on my other side? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna line it up here. Give it a little stretch. So, so we've got our one quarter block and then we lay out our squares, pink squares. And then we lay out our half square trying half square blocks. You looking good? Yes, just following. It's kind of like an hourglass. It's nice to have one already made, isn't it? Yes, that really helps. Okay, so I'm just going to set the seam and push this in, and we've got it done. I can't wait to hang this one up. Okay, so see, whenever you um, get this all finished, it's great whenever you um, go right out to the corners and have it all lined up. Whoa, how do you think that's going to look on our design wall? It's going to be perfect. It's going to really bring out those pinks. So you work in quarters. You want to get this quarter done and this one, and then you can put the whole block together. Perfect. Perfect.